to show you the seriousness of this. So if you have not yet believed in this, I urge you to stay at home. If you look at yourself and say, wow, Linda, you are so big in this world. If you have the, the most beautiful heart, Hey, welcome to my channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Accept the greetings according to your location. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time of stopping by, I beg you for a favor. Subscribe to this channel by clicking on that red button that says subscribe. Beside the red button is a notification bell. The essence of that bell is for you to get an update from me each day or time I upload a new video so that you will be among the first people to go and check it out. Thank you for stopping by. Always leave your comments down below and share this video with your friends, families, and colleagues. Oh, guys, I want to react to a trending video that has been going around the social media on how the Fulani henchmen hide themselves in a truck of a 40 feet content 45th container dispatching themselves all over the southern and eastern part of nigeria <laughs> i am afraid oh, i think something is about to happen i'm going to place this video here so that you understand what i'm going to be saying in this video what are they going to do why are they hiding themselves in between cows in between cars under a truck of a 40 lift container heading to all different states in the southern and eastern part what are they going there what are the fulani henchmen going to do so in the question now is why are they trooping to the eastern part now they were known to be cattle railers they always go with their cows by feet but in this case they decided to go with a truck many of them loaded themselves inside a truck heading to the southern part that is the eastern part of uh, nigeria so if they don't have any interior motive why would they be going by truck they should have walked by feet that is what they are known for and they I think the governors and all the authorities need to be vigilant and careful to control this mass flow so that whichever aims or their objective will never be realized. The government, even the citizens or the individual, everyone needs to be very, very careful now. The governors and the House of Assembly, they have this authority to stop this mass flow. I think they should act now. They should stop these people from penetrating to the southern and eastern part because I believe they don't have good motive. It is true or it is believed that the lockdown has been relieved or lifted for Nigerians. But I think this is not a period of trooping into other people's uh, environment. I believe everyone should stay where he or she is right now because what we are facing now is not yet over this is not a period of uh jump packing yourself together loading yourself together in uh, in a in a in a truck trooping into other people's uh, environment this thing we are suffering now is not yet over it's not a period of traveling or trooping into other people's uh, environment so i think the fulanis or whatsoever should stay in their homes they should stay wherever they are they they are known as a cattle rider they should go on with their activity this is not a period of a trooping into other people's uh, 
environment and as if they were waiting for such opportunity as if they were just waiting for the uh, lockdown to be lifted so that they will have the access to do what they want to do but whatever they want to do god pass them god will see us through so i just want to bring to your notice if you are in the north in the southern part of the country or the eastern part you need to be extremely careful because these people trooping in like this, they will not tell me that they are coming for good. I don't think they are coming for good. But whichever motives that they are coming to from God who will see his people through. So if you are in any part of this uh, state or go local government that these people are trooping into, I urge you to be extremely careful you need to watch your back you need to watch where you go what you do and the, the places you go you need to be very very attentive attentive even at the boss the people covering them they were afraid to go closer to them to tell you how serious those people are so you that you don't know where they will be hiding you don't know what they were coming to do you need to be careful and i also call out the government the house of assembly all the individual that are responsible for security should also take action take action to protect your citizens from any anything that may occur at a given time from what i see now it simply means that those people do not have any atoms of uh, repentance in them you know it seems that they are enjoying what they are doing yeah they are really enjoying since um six weeks now the state or the country has been in lockdown and the lockdown has just been lifted and they use it as an advantage to go and do whatever they want to do i don't know i don't know what they are getting from all these things or how much they are being paid to be doing all these sort of things that is i don't even understand the happiness the joy or what they are getting from it so my essence of making this is just to make you to know to be informed there is this adage that said that to be forewarned is to be forearmed so it's better you get information about something before it starts happening the essence of you getting the information earlier and the importance of that information is for you to be prepared you know for you to prepare yourself or for you to avoid such incident when they will occur so i urge all the people in the south 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 east to take precaution mind the way you where you go and uh, watch your back you know watch your back because those people trooping in like this hey hey i know that something is about to happen no oh. But God Almighty will see us through. God will always protect his children. And the government, this is the period you need to act. This is the period that the security need to show their work. Do not stand on the way only to collect 2020 20 Naira from people. You need to ransack any car, especially all these big trucks. You know, all these big trucks. Many, th many things will be hiding under the truck. You will not see them. So, as it is right now, I call on the police, especially these ones that stand on the way to collect 20 Naira from people, to ransack any truck, any big lorry passing across the southern and the eastern part to find out what is actually inside there they may tell you it's a cow check it very well look inside the truck look inside the trailer or anything look inside very well to find out what is actually inside there because sometimes you will see them they will just bring out their hands and throw 100 naira to the police the police will collect the money without even stopping them or asking them what they are carrying or they will just give the police the money the police and say to the police it's cow it's cow the police will allow them to go not knowing that what is inside the lorry or inside the truck is a human being going for assignment now the eastern part need to be extremely when i mean extremely careful because hey as i always say i think 
if you don't understand the gravity of this thing or you don't understand uh, what is about to happen if care is not taken you may not understand why i'm saying hey hey hey, hey means all seriousness it means that something something is about to happen to the eastern please everybody if you are watching this video share this video to your family friends especially those ones in the east so that they will take precaution let them take precaution let them wash their back i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know what else to say that is the essence of living whatever i am doing right now to make this video in order to bring the information across to you you need to be extremely careful if you are in the eastern part if you are in the southern part of nigeria because something something if care is not th taken something is about to happen but god almighty will not allow it to happen so you have heard what i said it seems i have talked too much in this video if you have not yet subscribed to my channel i beg you to do that share this video as i said before leave your comments down below what you think about the trooping in of those people to the eastern and southern part and leave your comments down below thank you till we